Yeah, my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy Tuesday, happy new week. It shall be well with all of us. So, uh, today happens to be the 22nd in the month of October in the year of 2024. We are gradually and gradually and gradually and gradually moving to the permanent site. <clears throat> According to my church people, they said this ministry must move to the permanent site. So, the ministry of Bia France, the ministry of government in exile, the ministry of the redeclaration of the independence of the state of Biafra is moving to the permanent society and we are we are so much appreciative to those ones who have put everything in order to make sure that this becomes a reality i said may almighty to Biama continue to bless each and every one of you out there and we also in the media team we are doing everything humanly possible to make sure that we get every message down to the truth and doorstep of all our audience both lovers and the one we hate also. Everybody they see our news and they also they appreciate it. <laughs> and also when you go to say uh, you don't they do well and uh, when your enemy go turn to be your friend. Uh, that's why the fact that uh, you go you, you are going to be using a long spoon to be eating with you, your enemies, but at least they have come to appreciate and to make sure that they join you in that your moving train. So my wonderful people, I would like you to listen to this very important message from my brother from another mother, Mr. Christian of news post tv um where we get uh the undiluted truth about everything you need to hear know and everything you need to understand because his analytic is quite different from my own as a can only according to only ages also let us go there here at the headline have the conflict ended i mean the conflict in the Biafran region have Igbos been compensated why haven't go on apologized that is the topic of this message go on i don't know why thunder is still delaying because this man need to Need to need to see his death while while alive as way to God for the for inhuman treatment that Biafran received on the hands of uh, this uh, this moron and uh, murderer. But anyway, shall, whichever way it is, so let us all listen to Christian. You may uh, get one wisdom or the other attached to this, and I'm, I'm I'm very very sure you will show appreciative at the end of this video. So as we are moving, we are going so we are going to, we are also going to pause and also do some uh, kind of analytics or analysis before we can be able to move to the permanent side and make sure that this video get to every nooks and crannies of their friends wherever they are both home and in diaspora let us go there please like share comment and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos this video needs to go viral i want to ask an important a very important question has the war ended they said no victor They said no victor, no vanquish. That's what they told us. These guys started scamming us since the 90s. No victor, no vanquish. Has the war ended? Has the Nigerian Biafran civil war ended? I know that there was a country, and that country is Biafra. The fought a war. According to the reports, it was for three years. And these three years, casualties on the Biafran side, three million. Full starvation. Everybody. The, the, the gang up was both the Britain, the United States, every other well meaning country that were interested in the oil in Biafra land joined Nigeria to cause the mayhem, to cause the havoc, to carry out genocide on the Biafrans. That war that they said no victor, no vanquish, with the uh, reintegration, reconciliation, and reconstruction, whatever the three hours. Has the war ended? That's my question. If you're watching this broadcast, I want you to help me answer. Our brothers from the Southwest, if you're watching this broadcast, please help me answer. Has the war ended? Have the egos been rehabilitated into the society, the Nigerian society? Has there been any true, sincere reconciliation? Let's tell ourselves the truth. Because since having given birth to these guys have been lying to us over and over again let me even give my answer the war has not ended you can see what the nigerian state is doing to the Igbo people till date every other person can confirm it the hatred the reasons why they wanted the Igbos out of government is because of envy jealousy and hatred so there's a gang up by the north and south to make sure that the Igbos don't get to power so the war has not ended. 
then somebody that comes out to tell me because he wants to be president to forgive a particular criminal that killed my people over three million it is not my fault that i'm ego god made me so god put me in the southeast so i need to stand up and fight for my people if you're angry that i'm fighting for my people please look the other way i'm interested in the soul of the southeast as you are watching make sure you are subscribing make sure you are sharing and make sure you continue commenting you know, because your comment is very very important to because with your comments that is when a youtube will know the content of the video whether the video is good for human consumption or good for robot consumption but yeah, as you you always know that this message is for everybody and is for human being consumption so let us continue there's no time to take time being that as it may we have established the fact that no forgiveness for for go on and whoever obasan job might be forgiven because he was taking directions buhari might be forgiven because he was taking directions but the ogak pata pata of them all is go on he is the head of state he was the one that was giving directions he should not come out and give us excuses that he was advised wrongfully by by that obo i don't know that was that one does not concern me he is the head of state and he deliberately whether he's playing a script of the colonial masters or whether he's playing his, the whatever script is playing he carried out the genocide on the good people and it cannot be forgiven peter began go and forgive him but we don't forgive such atrocities there must be a sacrifice just take a look at it till today they were leaders at their younger age i believe he was head of state at well at 34 of 33 years he was head of state nigeria's head of state how many 33 year olds in nigeria today can ascend to any positions they held on to power there and they are still holding on to power till now when you look at the people at the corridor of power they were the actors in the civil war look at dan juma look at obasanjo look at wangida and salama buwaka Look at Buhari, look at God. They are still holding on to power till today. They have refused to allow the young people breathe. Young people cannot become leaders of their generation because of these men. So what kind of people are these guys? You are calling them heroes or what? What are you calling them heroes for? The people that made sure that we did not get free education. These guys got everything free. Even jobs were waiting for them in at the door of their class of their of their classroom. Jobs people were coming bringing jobs to them. They got almost everything free. They refused to relinquish power to the young people. They held the young people, put them in bondage. Still, they are not satisfied with putting Nigerians in bondage. That's why I said that I I I. I I prefer to be a proud IPOB, IPOB brainwash boy than to be a daft Nigerian. Our country of today, look at the country of today. The same people are in the corridor of power. Look everywhere. To be trying as much as he can to fight off this everybody. Look at Lagbaja, the chief of staff. What is happening? The APC government, in a way, is winning the banditry war. I'm making sure that not is pain. These guys have a way to manipulate and put you out of office. What is happening to Lagbaja today? These generals are the evil that we have in our generation. They all must leave and go and meet God so that we can have peace of mind and we can breathe. We should forget about go on now. I'm not saying forget or forgive. Do you want to know what happens when you drop? Our focus should not be on go on. Our focus should be on how we can repair the damage that go on and his likes have caused people in this country. Whether you are outside Igbo or Yoruba, we all have a common enemy. And the en enemies are these people that you see them as cabals. Imagine, you have been in power since in the 1960s and you refuse to leave that power to the extent that and Obasanjo, that was head of state, reformed himself to become a civilian. Buhari, that was head of state, those that destroyed the country, 
reform himself to become a civilian and they are, they were still ruling us till date some people were born when they were head of state now they are even fathers and almost grandfathers you lie to people that the nigerian youth are the leaders of tomorrow but yet you refuse to leave that power and because of your leadership nigerians Nigeria as a country has been destroyed and you continue want to stay and destroy none of these guys don't even come out and tell them tell us that these guys are heroes blah 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 this guy the guy these guys are the weapon fashioned against the nigerian state they are the weapons fashioned against the nigerian people south easterners plan on how you can fix the region that go on damaged that is our focus. We should not focus on non-entities. We know that the one is a non-entity as far as I'm concerned when it comes to the history of Nigeria. These are non-entities. Because at, during Gohan's time, we had oil boom. We had enough money to position ourselves as one of the world powers. Go and read history, study history. During Gohan's time, Nigeria was as powerful as to position itself, even build nuclear warhead, nuclear plant to become a nuclear country that is formidable. But yet, he threw that all away in buying Rolls Royce, parties, all sort of irrelevant things. Go on, destroyed the chance Nigerians, Nigeria as a country then had to become great and allowed these CIA agents to infiltrate our system and start controlling us. These guys had the opportunity to position Nigerians. They failed at it. And they still never wanted to leave that power. They still held on to it. You, you see go on, going, going about smiling. Pray for Nigeria. At 90, these guys don't want to leave Nigeria. After destroying the destinies, after killing, after genocide, they still continue to destroy the genesis of the, the destinies of millions of Nigerians. The, the, the sins that go on committed with the Biafran people is not compared to the sins that go on and his likes have committed on the Nigerian people. You're not intelligent enough to see these things. I don't know how to explain this to you. I don't know how to bring it to your notice your that the atrocities that go on and his likes have committed on the Nigerian people. Hmm? You don't even have to be blaming Igbos for not forgiving Go on. They are willing, if God give them life, if they have more time to live, they are willing to commit more atrocities on the Nigerian people. They care not about you. They care not about where, I don't know whether you exist or not. Now let's address, address this. Go on said that there wouldn't have been a Biafra, Nigerian Biafran war if the Saptis. We are not planning to succeed from Nigeria. We know that that is lie. Big lie, lie from the pit of hell. The reason is why you give us 20 pounds. You lie to us that no victor, no vanquish. You lie to us that uh, we, we in rehabilitation, reconciliation, and uh, whatever. Whatever. Three hours. At the end of the day, these things were all lies. This old man started lying to us from the get-go. We believe these guys, we believe their lies. That's why they have the temerity to perpetrate the evil they have on us. Go on, it's a personal non grata as you speak. But let's not focus on him. Let's not even focus on P2B. Let's focus on how we can rebuild the Southeast. That is where it is much more important for us. I am going to start doing a series on history so that we can correct the evil, the lies that these guys, the propaganda, the manipulation that these guys has put for us. One of which is, Bowen was the mastermind that fought against regionalism, not Agui Ronsi. I don't know how you want to see it. You know, when something has been said for a very long time, it becomes the truth. You repeat something, you repeat something, some people, they lie to themselves. To the extent that that lie, they lie to themselves because it is repeated. It has been done repeatedly. It becomes the truth. Guwan was the mastermind of 
abolishing regionalism, not arguing on sea. For those that can read, read, we'll be doing a history series whereby we'll outline some of these things that are obvious, but we cannot see them. The truths that are obvious, but we cannot see them. When you look at your Uputa panel, go on and have the opportunity to come out clean, put the record straight, but he refused. He went about saying, praying and praying. You are praying for who? You know that Nigerians are dark, that's why you are, you are, you are, you are going out deceiving them, you are praying. With all your prayers, where is Nigeria today? I've been asking this question, has the war ended, my brothers? You can see what, what the Igbos are going through in Nigeria today. That's why they want out. Has the war ended? Mr. Gohan, Mr. Buhari, Mr. Basanjo. Has the war ended? Ojuku is no more. Has the war ended? You killed Biafran legends that were in the high... You see, the Biafrans took over government. You had technocrats. You had elite Igbomen that their lives were cut short by by savages in the north. Elite Igbomen. People that we could draw a lot of experience from. Do this for flat A lot of expertise from. They held them in the north and they slaughtered them. Some of them that were in the southeast as coincidence were not so slaughtered. But one of our finest, bravest and elite Igbo men have been martyred by savages in the north. That one is one that pains me a lot. You know what, what it means to have an ego that, that is exposed, that is experienced, that is well read, that is educated. This man looks like a demigod. You rarely have such people, but when you have them, they are in their best called gods. They are gods. Gods. Have you seen an intelligent, exposed, experienced, well traveled ego man? Have you seen any around you? You'll be shocked at the kind of people they are. They are being worshipped. These are the people that did not targeted. And they started killing them one by one. That is what pained me. Not even the three million people that were killed as a result of hunger. That is what that is what war causes, you know. And the lies. The Southwest media propagated. And they are still doing it now. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. When they wanted to start giving voters card, they deprived millions of youth in the southeast from getting their voters card. Delay upon delay upon delay. Why in the north they took the voters card to their homes? When you want to fight for a position anywhere, you have an ego name. There's a tendency with your qualification that you be relegated. If not, there's an exceptional thing that happens. It must be exceptional. <laughs> And God must be by your side to understand that a miracle happens while other tribes just get free, just strolling and get these jobs at the ministries, federal ministries. But an Igbo man is always curtailed. They don't want an Igbo man to ascend that height that he ascended in the First Republic, whereby Igbo controlled even. Igbo women were unwilling to date any other tribe. They looked at them as other people had low status. Igbos were at the top then. Their status, like like I said, an Igbo man that is read, that is educated, that is experienced, that is well traveled, is like a demigod. I see them as a demigod. These guys are intelligent. These guys on Galoyon. I'm not saying just Igbo, they're other people. When you look at Jajamachiku then. Look at how they exhumed themselves, how they carried out their, their responsibilities, their activities, how they, what they did. You come to understand that the envy will be today and it's still going on till tomorrow. It is still going on till tomorrow and nobody's willing to stop it. That's why we are saying we want out. We want out. Let us face our challenges as evil people. We have stupid leaders, we know. We have cowards as leaders, we know. We have, the, I think these leaders are the creation of the Nigerian state, creation of the Fulani. Fulani wants to make stupid, coward leaders from the Southeast relevant. 
the one that will not bow to them, they will find a way to fight and fight and make sure they are not relevant. Leaders that are licking the ass of other politicians that are their counterparts. You go to the house, a human being like you is on the other side because they're not an You are afraid because of your greed. You are not, you are not people orientated. You are an ass licker from, from the get go. You are not, you are not interested in the welfare of people, just yourself. That makes you become afraid to speak the truth, stand for the truth and what you believe in. Defend yourself as an ego man. On your feet, you defend yourself on your feet. Whether it is life or death. These ego leaders cannot do such. That's what the people mean. You are afraid of what? Are you playing Kalo Kalo here? Because of presidency, you want to deny, you, you want to throw your people under the bus. Well, you are speaking for yourself. If it affects your political career, it is you. Nigeria would never get to the promised land for the atrocities that it has committed on the Igbo people. We have repeated this over and over again and will continue repeating it till thy kingdom come. So that the earth, the heavens and the earth will bear witness that the souls of the three million people that died in the Civil War, they are crying and eventually when Gohan goes to the grave, he will be tortured by those souls. May God not receive his soul. I don't hate him. I have people that fought civil war in my family. Twelve of them, I think, died in that war. Twelve graduates. See, we had these guys are prominent in my family. Prominent guys. Promising. If they were alive today, if those people that were those people that were killed by the Northerners, if they were alive today, who is uh, all these? Who is Buari? Who is who are they? Those military officers, if they are the men today, who are they? It is just jealousy. That's why they cannot fix anything. From beginning to the end, they are, they are just dead. They cannot fix anything. There's nothing. There, there's nothing in their brain. They are just moving around. That's why they are a puppet to the West. They are a puppet to the UK and the US. Nothing. No foresight. Nothing. They are just there existing. If those Igbo generals, those Igbo officers, those Igbo politicians were still alive today, none of these guys would stand before them. None of these guys would stand to their face. But they decided to gang up and deliberately. You let the people that carried on the coup, you did not kill them. You did not go after them. You started going after their people. What does it show? What does this portend? You left the people that carried the, the carnage that carried on with the coup, you left them and you went after the Igbos. You tagged the Igbos so that so you should eliminate, eliminate them from the civil service, eliminate them from the government. That was your plan. And it is still happening today. You make sure that Igbo does not rise to the upper echelon. And you go and come out and tell us that let's pray for Nigeria, let's pray for the unity of Nigeria. I, I wish I had the opportunity, I know what I have done to him. Even though he's a general. You see, you are a general, you're a president, you're a leader of a country, and for over 60 years you have not been able to fix that country. Your efforts are in vain. It is the results we are looking at. With all this being around, what has he achieved? Nothing. So me, I'm focused on the Southeast. I'm focused on how we can build the Southeast and make it a place that people can come and invest. Let it be a superpower, a world power, a superpower. Most of the broadcast we are doing is just for the for the sake of rebuilding the southeast. I'm not interested in what is happening in the, in the, the southwest because there's many things happening that I can talk about. But I decided not to talk about these things that are happening in the southwest. It is the southeast, the soul of the southeast, that interests me the most, that I want to talk about the most. We need to start building. You think we have built anything? No, we have not started. We need to have a hundred year plan. Hundred year economic industrial plan of building the Southeast. Leave go on and his likes. Look at how Benue is. They are collecting every day. Let them continue like that. They are under the supervision of the Fulani and that's how they remain until we get our liberation. 
we need to come together and think on how we don't go during the Christmas period. I build my house. You you go you go you 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 show house. You show this. That don't that people have house. So that that's that whether you build a house of ten billion, that does not add to anything. The soul of who you are is under threat. How can you rescue it? The soul of who you are is under threat. How can you rescue it? Not by building house. So my people, that's the end of the show. Mwa, let us just dissect the comment section. We'll take few comments, then we'll round up the show. Please, just permit me to use uh, most of your time to read in between the comment section so that we'll know what our people think concerning this matter. Um, at Helene, one for said a great submission. You have really did well. Oh. And uh, they said that Frank Omobi said uh, they are the weapons fashioned against the Nigerian state. Okudele Okereke said, after 50 years of the Biafra Nigeria war and the exploitation of oil and gas in the southeast, no roads, no electricity, no water, nothing has worked in Nigeria. Trillions of dollars have been stolen till today, and we just sit down and watch. If we don't wake up and liberate ourselves, nobody will do it for us. The Lorenzo said to me, I know that a war will be fought again because this Nigeria have been fanning the fire of war lately. I really, I really uh, what uh, happened to P2B in the last election because it has helped in opening the eyes of those Igbos who hated to hear that Biafra must go. And that's true, Itoko. Uh, Bishop Joseph said that the war has not ended, but what? Uh, they couldn't do to Biafrans during the genocidal war against the Biafrans. They are able to do them to Igbo land now because of our gre uh, greedy leaders in Igbo land. Today they have taken over the entire Igbo land, killing our people everywhere inside the Igbo land. Meanwhile, today they have uh, succeeded in the occupation of the Igbo land and taking over the entire Igbo land, according to this, our brother. Moving forward, uh, lucky, looking forward to said, uh, uh, reconciliation, rehabilitation, and the reconstruction. Three hours. Did anyone met you today? Nothing has been met. Um, according to uh, Nigeria, Bello said, if the war not ended, do you want to start the war again? And according to at uh, Nigeria, blah 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 blah, whether you forgive go on or not makes no sense. It is God alone who forgives. And moreover, go on has arrived at his uh, golden age, 90 years, like an ego. For the, for the scripture said for those who are strong. Abby, anyway, share my people now. Here we go take a break. You make on a like, share, comment, and make sure I keep subscribing to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back.